Hey guys, Pomona Dog Pound for Treasure Geo up in Lucerne Valley again. Um, we are going to check out a mine up here, hopefully. Uh, it's over by my place. Never been up to it, and uh, from Google Earth photos, it looks pretty cool. So we're gonna take uh, a little bit of time and check it out. Maybe it's maybe it's accessible. So I brought all my lights and stuff. This is not too far from a place called Slash X, which is uh, I don't know, probably 15 miles, 20 miles up the road. And we're gonna stop off there if they're open today and. Have a hamburger. All right. Here we go. There's a one of them, one of the mines or cuts. It's a shorter trip than I thought getting up here. Okay, looks like it's open. I'm gonna go back down and or back out to the car and grab my gear. Of course, we have my favorite type of people out here all over the place. They gotta tag stuff. What a bunch of idiots. It is kind of steep here. Steep and slippery, slippery slope. Hello? There's no mountain lions or anything in there. Cougars, coyotes. You hear that? That's probably some sort of rodent. Cause it ain't big enough for a cougar. Looks like a bird got eaten right there. An old timber.
when I read the uh, the mining claim information on this, it said they were mining uh, tungsten, gold, and silver. This uh, ends here pretty quick, right there. It's really short, nice and wide, but really short. Nothing to it. Okay, let's go find something better. We're sitting above the area where we just came out of, which was right in here. We're sitting on the next step up. They have some uh, poured concrete slabs here. Which tells me they had equipment mounted here. One up here as well. So, chances are that there's another mine above. And uh, that's where we're going now. There's the other pad. And I'm guessing it's right there. So we're gonna work our way up there. Well, there is another tunnel, mine shaft. This one goes down at about a 45 degree angle. And uh, I would do it, I'd go down there, but one problem. See that my knee is messed up my knee and my foot I may be having surgery again on it but that's life all right check this out Well, we may very well strike out today. Ain't going down this either. Straight down. It's as close as I want to get. Oh. 
Well, we're gonna go up here. I think we might have one more chance. One or two more chances here. The other side of this ridge looks like there's some digging as well. Let's go check it out. This is looking promising right here. Sorry about the sun. Facing east, it's early in the morning. Desert gourds right there. on these vines. I've seen the animals eat those but I don't know if they're good for human consumption. Pretty flowers. More idiot taggers. Another idiot tagger. Okay looks like they followed this shear zone here. That's a shear zone right here right there. Followed that down. Like I said they were uh According to the mining claim, they were mining tungsten primarily and uh, secondarily gold and uh, silver. This is really cool. Hello? Any bad animals down here? No? Okay, good. some pretty cool timbering. Let's get this light on. That goes down quite a ways. Let's check it out. kind of cool uh, ducting and piping. Piping is probably used to pump air down for air hammers. Take it nice and slow. Slow is safe. Speed kills. Whoa. Am I seeing what I'm seeing? Looks like there's uh, water down there. I wish this light was more diffused so you guys could see this better. Point it upward, downward. Yeah, that's, that looks like it's wet. Which, you know what that tells you? Well, what it tells me is that animals may come down here to uh, drink. It's good for the animals and bad for me because some of these animals might not be very nice. Yeah, that's all wet. Starts right there. Gets moist. And then there you have a small pool, probably a, I don't know, a foot deep looks like. 
I wonder if that's the water table. But it looks like they stopped mining here as well. It doesn't go down any further. Unless it was backfilled. Cool. Well, that's a couple feet deep. It's like uh, two and a half foot deep. It's good to know. Good, uh, good water supply in case uh, you ever need it out here in the desert. All right, let's head back up. Can't go any further here. rid of the light now. This is at about a, I would guess a 30 degree incline. Nice and cool in here. I'd say about maybe 60. And up here it's about 80 and climbing. It's about uh, 8:30 in the morning in the Cern Valley. It's about 3,500 feet of elevation. Okay, see if we can't find something else. I think we have, might have one more chance at a mine here. That's where we started. Right down here is where we just were. But I'm looking up there on that ridge and I see cement pilings, platforms and tailings. So those tailings had to come from somewhere. I'm guessing there's a shaft up in here. So we'll go check that out next. So we're on our way up the hill. Instead of walking to this, we're just going to drive by it. Looks like uh, concrete pads. Maybe there was a structure here. Uh, maybe maybe uh, they had pumps here or motors to drive pulleys. It's anyone's guess. We're going to go up there. If we can make it, I'm driving my Honda Pilot all-wheel drive so we'll see what happens well I'm looking around and my little mule right there made it up that first part of the hill which looked like the hardest part so far but uh, this road looks pretty pretty doable and it goes up further and it goes around that bend so I'm going to take it up this way and check it out and uh, get as far up as I can. I'm guessing there's another mine up there. It's the only reason they have all this platforms down here by the, by the little mule. 
And if that fails, I'm gonna go across to there. Right in there, looks like there might be something also. So we got nothing but time. We're gonna check it out. may have to back out of here this road uh, hopefully it gets better if it doesn't I'm gonna have to back out and I hate backing out hard to see but it's uh, it's pretty dippy okay let's keep going well the road pretty much ended um, it does come over here to a pit so it does look like I'm gonna have to back out of here which I hate doing I don't like backing out of dirt roads with drop-offs but uh, this was at the top so it was an old shaft all collapsed in it looks pretty filled in actually some old timbers That's it. Time to back out of here. Not looking forward to it. Okay then, let's go. Well, it's hard to tell, but instead of backing down this road here, I'm gonna go forward and down this slope to that road there doesn't look like much of a road but I think I can make it I am driving the Honda Pilot stock doesn't have much clearance but if we do it right we'll be okay here we go so we made it down that hill okay no problems our first mine we saw was right there and then we went over here then we came across to this other place but it's just a road that stops right here what I'm guessing is up here it looks like it was terraced and some dirt has been moved but I'm not gonna climb up there because it's hot already and uh, I got a bad knee right now, so that'll have to be another day. So unless we find something really interesting, I'm probably just going to end up heading down to Slash X, having a burger and fries, maybe a beer. One thing I love about the desert. There's roads everywhere.
quite a ways. Well, hopefully it's not a shaft. Hopefully it's a mine and we could just walk in. If it's a shaft, we're not getting in. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm almost at the top. I can't even see my car anymore down there. It's a couple mile hike. I am noticing another mine over there, way over there. But I don't think I'm gonna get to that today. Hopefully this here was worth the hike. I'm thinking it may not be. And if it isn't, that's okay. Was good exercise. The front here looks collapsed. Oh, let's check it out. That looks like the portal of the mine right here in the front collapsed. But back in the mine looks pretty good. So let me get over this paw here, and we'll come back on. Hello? Oh, that's funny. This is Bruno was here. Bruno's my name. ready let's go nice and cool in here Again, they said, uh, this mining claim said it was uh, tungsten, and uh, they were pulling tungsten, and secondary was gold and silver. That's just a byproduct, most likely, of uh, their mining process. I just hope there's no animals down here. I'm running two lights right now, a floodlight in my hand and a spotlight on my head. Tunnel's starting to get a little more narrow. Looks like it may end right there, but uh, we're gonna go down and just double check. Maybe there's a turn off. Let me get rid of my headlamp here. No white. It's the opening of the tunnel, the mine. Get some lights back on. Oh, that's some sparkly rock right there. Doesn't really sparkle on camera.
see that color in this ribbon right here. It's pretty nice. That was probably part of the overbody that they were digging into. Sulfides. That yellow. That's probably the tungsten. Or they were pulling out there's some uh, copper staining. More copper staining there. <sighs> Looks like they ended here. of some sorts, some sort of squirrel or rat. You can see here where they were going to continue to blast this face here. There's a drill hole there, drill hole there, there. wonder why they stopped. Doesn't uh, go too far back, but far enough back to where you can't see the opening. <clears throat> okay, let's get out of here. Like maybe they were thinking about branching off that way, following that uh, vein there. But uh, I think that was this is the main body they were looking for. It's right here that mineralization. And I'm surprised they didn't run a stope up. I think they're called stopes when they go up, shaft when they go down. But I'm pretty I'm pretty much guessing that was the ore body and they just stopped. Okay, you know what I'm going to say now, let's get out of here. Okay, I'm going to turn this off. So I can uh, find my way out of here without stumbling. And we're back at the opening. I don't know if that was worth the hike up here. Yeah. Yeah, it was. I just wish it was a little cooler outside. The front of this is pretty brittle. So it's just flaking off. No bueno. A couple more years. This will probably be all collapsed in. Alright guys. Headed back down to the car.